Welcome to Division 2, Scoring Electricity Through Magnetism. Today we're going to learn how to build a shake light, and this is a step-by-step -step process. There are several tools you're going to need, and we can go through those now. You're going to need some wire strippers, you're going to need some safety glasses, some snips, a pair of pliers, and possibly a smaller pair of pliers. So, you're also going to need a kit from the extension office. That kit is going to include wiring, the shake light tube, the straw, the capacitor. This is a negative sign. The PCB board. The diode, the resistor, and the LED light. So, this is the coil. So let's start by attaching our wires to the coil. We're going to peel off about one fourth of an inch. Of our insulation. On two wires. Then. We're going to bend. A loop. In the end of this wire. and attach it to our coil. Once that is complete, we can slide the coil back over our tube and fish these wires up through our tube and out the top. Now, we're not ready to tape this and we're not ready to sort this. You can also put one wire through this hole and one wire through this hole, but keep in mind the straw is going to have to go through here later on in the project. We're going to set this aside. <clears throat> now, we're going to attach our other material to the board. So I hope you can see this. I like to take these and bend them, kind of like a horseshoe. After doing this, we can put them through the designated holes Again, this is the resistor. And you need to look in your book and read and get some additional information on these uh, pieces. It tells you we, what each and one, each individual one does specific to this process. This is a very important step here. You see the black line on this on one end. You're also going to make sure it lines up with the indicator in the diode slot. If you get that in backwards, the light will not work. And it is very difficult to take back apart. I like to bend my wires out so that it keeps those nice and snug exactly where I wanted them to be. 
So now this is where that negative sign has an impact. We want to make sure that our capacitor is installed correctly. The negative sign lines up with the negative side of the spot negative spot on the board. We're going to get in here like this and we're going to bend it straight down. Be very careful not to pull these wires out of the capacitor. We want a little bit of slack there and we'll snug that up once we solder it. Now you are going to need a soldering iron for this and safety glasses. So make sure that you have those safety glasses on while you're soldering. And you should, if you don't have a soldering iron plugged in right now, you need to plug it in and get it warmed up for this next step. So the LED light goes on. You will see in the illustration there's a flat side to that. And that's going to be on the short side of the light. But as you might be able to see here, there is a flat spot on the side of this bulb, this LED bulb. And it's easier identified by the shorter side of the two wires for this bulb. And just like the capacitor, we're going to get that down there close and we're going to bend it forward, make it look nice and neat. And then we can bend these out to keep it in place. So, now, it is recommended that you use a pair of pliers and a rubber band around this to hold it in place. That works very good. So, now we can solder. Now when you solder, this is a little more... Uh, you have to be a little patient when you're doing this. You want to warm up this wire coming out of the board and as that board that wire gets hot you'll be able to melt the solder on the wire you do not want to melt the solder with the soldering iron directly be very careful with the tip of the soldering iron it will indeed put a blister on your finger immediately now don't worry about these looking a little a little bit like a cold solder joint we can work on that when we're done and I'll show you I'll show you that I always try to solder one side of a component and then go directly to the other side. 
there's heat that's being transferred from the soldering iron that also transfers to the other side of the component and we can if we move directly over there we still capture some of that heat Don't be afraid to bend these wires and get them back out of your way. The board is very touchy. You do not want to touch the soldering iron to the board. It will burn it. And it looks pretty bad. Just be patient, let that wire heat back up. Now, the LED light is very close. These connections are very, very close to each other. So you have to be very careful. If you bridge this right here, the light will not work. The energy will pass right from one side to the other, bypassing the diode in the light. So just a little bit goes a long way right here. Okay, now, now we want to make sure these connections are good. We're going to trim these off.
And after we get these trimmed off, if there's a solder that you're not satisfied with, you can just take a couple minutes to keep your workstation clean, of course. And we can, the wire that we cut off, we can put the soldering iron right back on top of that and heat that wire up a little bit more and reshape those solders. So you see how this is a little malformed? We'll heat it back up and see what we can get out of it. a little better. Do the same thing with this one. And our other ones all look pretty uniform. So I'm satisfied with this. Some of you kids can do a much better job than I can uh, and I challenge you to that. So now we can undo our pair of pliers. We're going to look at this. I like it. Now, go ahead and strip the wire, the insulation off of this wire. So now we're going to attach our coil to our board. Now when you heat this up, this insulation will draw back just a little bit. So you have to kind of watch it. try this without the pliers. So the solder, whenever you put the solder on, on the connection, you want them to be opposite each other. Now in the past, I have taped these down so that it, I can put some pressure on it and it not move around on me, which is works pretty good. So with this rubber mat, I'm going to have to use a pair of pliers and a rubber band.
So again, you got to be very patient. There's a lot of wire here to heat up. pretty thick wire and it's also pretty long. Alright, so the next thing we're going to solder is going to be the coil. See if we can get it to look a little better. The best way to do that is just to heat the tip of that wire you cut off. Just heat it back up a little bit. You don't want to push it too hard. When that solder heats up, you can push that wire right out of the board. Now, you can see how my red wires, when that insulation warmed up, it pulled that insulation back just a little bit and tightened it up. So now, we're going to make an adjustment here. We're going to put this, these components, inside the tube. I'm going to do that by pulling it down inside. You want to pull on these wires, not real hard. At the same time, you're pushing the board in. You also want to make sure that all your components are inside that board or inside that tube. Now, We want to put our straw in here. It's a little excessive on the straw length. However, we want to get it in place. Our number one goal now, with this complete, we want to make sure we center this. Now, if we center it right now between the red and the foam, it's going to be. different than what it is centered with the magnet. So, additionally, that foam, once we shake it, will compress. So, while we have it here and not taped yet, we're going to shake it and make sure we compress that foam block. Okay, so that has compressed some always like to trim my straw. We can wrap our wires around here. Coil. And give them a pinch. That magnet in there will give you fits with your pliers. So, now, we see that's about right. So let's go ahead and solder these connections.
doesn't take much to make a good connection. Now, we are done with the soldering iron. You can unplug it and let it start cooling off. Let's center that coil to the magnet. And we can get our tape out. This is some old tape from some of the original kits. When it stretches out, it's very clear. So now, we want to make sure that this is centered and stays centered. So we're going to put a piece of tape on it just to keep it honest. Okay. Very nice. We're going to start taping this at the straw and gradually take it down in a manner to protect our components. Meanwhile, we want to make sure that we have kept that coil in place. And there you have it, a shake light. Judges like to see these displayed. They're going to ask you a lot of questions about, about the light. When the judge looks at this, they're going to look at the coil, and they're going to say, is it centered or is it not centered? If it's not centered with the magnet, they're going to be disappointed. And they're going to mark off. Some judges will mark off a ribbon with that. Now they're also going to look at is the light bulb, is the LED within the tube. They're also going to look at your solder joints. Those solder joints, these are pretty good. They don't all look the same. Like I said, I've seen several kids uh, just pick this up and take off with it and do a very good job right out of the right from the start uh, some some of them uh, boys and girls very impressive uh, not having very much experience at all just pick it up and take right off with it so we're gonna go ahead and shake this make sure it works and here we go There we go. It works. Again, my name is Jeremy Montgomery, and this has been 
a 4-H workshop session. I hope you enjoyed.